Hey guys, what's up? I am Nikhil from Dope Motions, and in this After Effects tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this rolling text animation inside of After Effects. Now, if you are interested in learning some really cool title animations, then I have a complete playlist ready for you with over 40 plus step by step After Effects tutorials that you can check it out. A link to which is in the description below. So, with that said, let's get straight into After Effects and get started. Now before we start today's video, I just want to take a minute and talk about our today's sponsor Hitpo Video Enhancer. It's an AI video quality enhancer. Using this, you can easily convert low resolution videos to high resolution, 360p to 1080p and 4K to up to 8K. It comes with 4 incredible AI super resolution models that can enhance almost any kind of video. General denoise model can improve details and reduce noise and enlarge video up to 2 times, 4 times and even 8 times. Face model can fix deeply blurred faces and restore facial details. Animation model can AI upscale 2D and 3D cartoons and increase video resolution. Colorize model accurately turns black and white videos into more vivid ones. All you have to do is choose the file, select the AI model you want and export the video. Hitpaw Video Enhancer supports up to 17 different languages and comes with features like auto enhancing, batch processing, preview without watermark and more. So check out Hitpaw Video Enhancer first link in the description below all right so here we are in after effects let's start by creating a new composition i'll go with 2560 by 1440 that is 2k you can of course go with full hd or 4k if you want to i'm going to call this render as our main render comp 30 fps is our frame rate and the duration is set to 10 seconds press ok then create another new composition this is going to be a text placeholder so let's call this text and press ok then I'll select the text tool and then you can type in anything that you want. I'm going to type in motions for the font. I'm using clash gross tech, which is one of my favorite font and it is absolutely free link to which is in the description. So here we have our text. Now let's go back into our main render composition and drag the text composition like so. Now let's go right here and you will see an option for region of interest. So I'll select that and let's create a selection around our text like so. Okay, you can adjust it if you want to. All right, once you're happy with the selection, go into composition and click on crop comp to region of interest. And what this is going to do is crop or resize the composition according to the region of interest that we selected. So if I go back into my rendered composition, here we have our text with the composition already cropped up. Now we need to create a bunch of duplicates for every single alphabet. So right now we have one for M. So now we need to create one, two, three, four, five, six more copies. So I'll select the layer, press control D six times. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And now we have seven copies each for every alphabet. So I'm going to select the bottom one. Let's zoom in a little bit and select the rectangle tool and I'm going to create a mask like so. Then select the sixth one and create a mask for the second alphabet. Make sure the mask doesn't overlap onto the next alphabet or the second alphabet. Then select the fifth one and let's create one for this. Let's create this one and one more like so. Okay. All right, so our mask is ready. Now let's select the layer. I'll go into Windows and let me open the effects and presets panel. Go into effects and presets and search for an effect called offset. Double click to apply that. And then I'll go to around four seconds and create a keyframe on shift center two. Then I'll copy the offset effect, press control C, select all the other layers and press control V to paste it. And then if I hit U, you can see we have all the keyframes already applied with the effect on each layer. So now I'll go at the very start and then let's animate this. So I'll set this to around maybe 1500 minus 1500 then copy this value press ctrl c and then paste it on every other letter ctrl v ctrl v and um, ctrl v 
so now we have something like this then select the second letter that is o and let's set this to plus 1500 that is in the positive value we can copy this Control c and again paste it on every other letter so now we have something which looks like this pretty cool now you can select all the keyframes you can press f9 to easy ease them or right click go into keyframe assistant and easy ease then go into graph editor right click and select edit speed graph select this point and holding shift i will drag this to the left and this one to the left as well like so so now this is going to give us a much more interesting movement as you can see pretty nice now to add some motion blur to this what i can do is create a new adjustment layer call this blur go to effects and presets search for cc force motion blur apply that and you can increase the motion blur samples i like to keep it at around 10 which is nice and gives a very nice look and one more thing that we have to do is um is bring down the shutter angle a little bit like so you can adjust it according to your requirements but i think this is fine we will increase this to 120 so we have something like this also let's add a background so press ctrl y to create a new solid call this pg for background i'll give it a nice dark purple background tone there you go so this is looking very nice so to fix this step issues what we can do is increase the motion blur sample slightly make sure to increase it very little because it's a uh, quite a heavy effect but yeah it looks very nice and as you can see it's looking very very cool with this i can also add a secondary animation so let's hide that for now or maybe turn off for now and what i can do is uh, let's add a transform effect on this so go into effects and presets search for transform double click to apply that i'll go at around four seconds create a keyframe on the scale go at the very start and let's add this to around 150 should be good press u select the keyframes and easy ease them go into the graph and let's add the similar curve so now we have something like this which looks very interesting and combine this with a motion blur cherry on the cake and that is basically it that is how you can create this cool looking rolling text effect instead of after effects using some really easy and simple steps so if you enjoyed this tutorial do let me know in the comment section below and by the way if you are interested in creating these kind of cool title animation i have a complete playlist of over 30 plus tutorials ready for you link to which is in the description below so do check it out you can also follow me on instagram at dope.motions and nikhil pawar and with that said i will see you guys in the next video till then take care and always stay raw stay creative peace out